Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at our palms and the wrists, our connection to the floor, and just our connection through the arms up into the rest of the body. So just looking at this arm to body connection to the floor. So starting off just having a little bit of a, a shake out through the hands, kind of like loosening up, bringing some blood into the end of the fingertips. Also you can shake this way, it can be quite nice, just nice loose wrists. Mm -hmm. And then we can take a palm and just rubbing into the um, into the pads, around the ball of the thumb, around the centre of the palm, just kind of massaging around the palm there. And then if we just then roll each of your fingers all the way to the end, just rolling down, bringing a little bit of attention, a little bit of niceness to each of your fingers, just kind of loosening them up. And then with the other fist, if you make a fist with the middle finger sticking out here, we're going to place the middle finger into an important energy point right in the middle of the palm. In Chinese they call this a laogong point, in Japanese a rokyu point. And it's number five on the pericardium channel, but it's right in the middle of the palm, very important um, for connecting to the ground. So if we place that in middle finger just into that dip in the middle of the palm and just kind of wrap around it like this, gently pressing in. doesn't have to be strong at all, just a little bit of attention into that point. Okay, and then across to the other side. So just rubbing into the palm, around the ball of the thumb. And then just rolling each of the fingers. making a fist with the middle finger sticking out, placing it into the middle of this other palm, and just kind of wrapping around. It's very easy to find that point, it's really right in the very center of the palm. It feels like a little hollow there. Just light pressure. Okay, and then release. Hands down, a moment with your eyes closed, just to check in, listening into your palms. How do they feel? Okay, eyes opening. So if we come forwards into an all fours, placing the hands underneath the shoulders, and just a loose, soft hands on the floor here, and we're just going to start to circle the weight around, letting the weight shift through the different parts of your palm, pressing the palm, the fingers, the thumbs into the ground. And then being careful as the forwards movement, if it feels at all uncomfortable, like too much in the wrists, just doing less or maybe just pausing, okay, changing the direction, listening into the wrists, palms and that feeling of connection to the ground, and we could try maybe bringing the wrists together, fingers facing out to the side, this is a bit stronger, so again you just take it at whatever level you want to, rocking side to side. Okay, coming back to the center, if it feels comfortable to bring the fingers face back towards the body, you can then shift the weight a little bit backwards, just again stretching into the wrists, forearms. And if that feels okay, maybe you can lift the wrists and stretch into the fingers, really strong for the forearms. And then coming forwards, and we're going to turn the palms over a little bit, stretch in the other direction, putting a little bit of weight if you like, or maybe no weight. If it feels better to have them up here, then you just go ahead. If it feels okay to have them on the floor. Again, wrists are something can be very delicate, so we have to take it nice and gently. Okay, and then a little shake out, just to loosen off. And then bring the hands back down to all fours. So a little bit now with the strength arms to body connection. If we 
Bring the nose just a little bit down towards the floor, breathing out as you come down, breathing in as you come up. Now, if that feels okay, you maybe want to step the knees back a little bit, make it a bit more challenging, breathing out as you come down, breathing in up. Yep. And if that feels okay, just as you wish, you could maybe even tuck the toes, lifting the hips, breathing out down, breathing in up. Yep. One more time, breathing out down, breathing in up. Okay. So we can bring the knees back to the floor. I'm going to take the hands out a little bit wider than the mat here and taking the fingers facing out to the side. Same thing goes, bend the elbows, breathing out as you come down, breathing in as you come up. But you can take it as much challenge as you wish, take the knees back a little bit, tucking the toes, lifting the hips if you wish, breathing out down, breathing in up. We're going to do that three times, so one more time, breathing out and breathing in. Okay, knees back down to the floor if you've had them up. And then we're going to take the hands this time facing inwards. So fingers facing towards each other. Kind of strange, elbows way out to the side. Breathing out down, breathing it up. Now you come down only as far as you feel you can get back from. Okay, you're, you're uh, take it at wherever level you want. Breathing out down, breathing it up. One more time, breathing out and breathing in and then the knees can come back to the floor so the last one here is to bring the hands fingers facing back towards the body now this is quite a bit stronger so again you just take it at whatever level feels appropriate for you I'm going to see if we can breathe out bring the nose down towards the floor breathing in coming up or just however far down towards the floor feels possible and again you can step the knees back as far as you feel like you need the challenge. So breathing out down, breathing in up. One more time, breathing out down, breathing in up. And then bringing the knees back underneath, you can just let the hands hang, dangle, just a nice loose, shaking them out if you like, really nice and gentle with the wrists. And when you feel ready, maybe even pressing them the other way around. So Turning the palms face up, eyes can close just for a moment, tuning in, palms, wrists, arms, into the rest of your body. How does it feel? And the eyes lifting. 